for being so small. She's so strong to be able to deal with her sister's death like this. You're all really impressive. Huh? Why does this man think we care about his empty compliments? Screw this! Faria, you can't just throw food away. You're crossing a line. Crossing a line? You know what happens when we eat dragons? We turn into them! But if you don't eat, you'll go crazy. Oh, shut up, just shut up! So you're really going hunting right now. Maybe I can tag along. What? Why? Oh, don't act so startled. I just wanted to do something for them. Her name was Veruta, right? I couldn't do anything for her. Star Varner. So we're doing some affection events with Karikaro here, and uh, still, I, I think maybe when we go to Manessa or Laponet, we'll try doing one event in Japanese to see if it's even voiced there, and then if it is, we can probably guess that, yeah, there's probably going to be a whole hell of a lot more scenes in the game voiced in Japanese, but I probably will still just voice them myself, because if we're already going with English dub, we might as well stick with English dub, because if people are fine with English dub, they don't want to have to then read the screen out of the blue. Like, I'm voicing the characters in one scene, and in the next scene, they have to read. I don't know, I'm just trying to, like, throw sh stuff out so people can understand. Anyway. Well, I just thought there doesn't seem to be anything I can help you with. <sighs> Cut the vegetables. What? Really? Leave if you don't want to. No, I do. I, I can do whatever you want. Maybe she just let her guard down a bit. So, you want me to cut this? Yeah. Alright, one minute. I need to wash the dirt off it. Wait, that plant's poisonous. Huh? Why is there a poisonous plant in here? <laughs> what? Huh? Let's see. Mm -hmm. A refreshing scent, the vibrant colors screaming, eat me. It is truly the most poisonous of plants. You'll get a rash if you touch it, so don't. You're making fun of me, aren't you, Karikaro? You're stupid for falling for it. That one doesn't even ha work on the Little Sisters anymore. Oh, come on. I've never seen a bigger grin on Karikaro. The fact that she's joking with me must mean we're getting closer, right? Or am I being too optimistic? Nope, wrong. Anyway, cut that into squares. I mean quarters. Got it. But what's on the menu today? I see meats and vegetables. Hmm. Guess. Hmm? Maybe stew? Not at all. You can be more wrong. How the hell do these ingredients make you think of stew? But I love your stew the most, Karikaro. The most? <laughs> what a cheap compliment. Don't lie to me. You're used to what they call you're you're used to what they feed the knights. You never enjoy a witch's cooking. The food there was good, but it's nothing compared to your stew. It's hard to explain, but it always made me feel nostalgic. What? Are you saying my cooking's old-fashioned? No. Of course a witch-killing knight would come into a witch's kitchen and make fun of her cooking. You have some nerve. Hey, it's not like that. Then shut your trap and put your money where your knife is. Look at me. I'm talking while I'm working. My prep is done. Well, that's a new one. Damn, I just can't beat her. Anyway, on today's menu is meat pie. It may not be as good as my stew, but it's still one of my signature dishes. Oh, I can't wait. Hmm, this isn't dragon meat. 
I don't need to use it for today. I'm gonna send the girls ate some three days ago. What happened at ate some yesterday? You remember what everyone ate? Of course. Cooking is love. Love is the best ingredient. It usually covers up the lousy technique, too. Karakar's dishes can be pretty... hit or miss. Bro. Her way of thinking about it is unique, to say the least. You're thinking of something bad, aren't you? Well, no, but... When was the last time you had dragon meat, Kari Carl? Huh? Oh, um... What is it? You... haven't been eating? No. Anyway, no dragon meat today. Just a regular old meat pie. If you want to talk, you can. I'm here, Kari Carl. Why are you saying that? All I said was that I'm making meat pie. I don't stress about it. The only thing I worry about is if the other witches are eating right. But... I knew I'd find you here. Can you help me with something, Kari Carl? See what I mean? What is it, Wapanet? It rained a few days ago, and I think the roof is leaking. We need to fix it, but... Piece of cake. I'll fix it right after I finish cooking. Hey, Kari Carl, are you busy? What is it? The informant is here, but I don't know what to buy. Can you help me out? Yeah, I'll be right over. Hmm? Karikaro, the wooden sword you made for me the other day just broke. Karikaro, the flowers in the yard don't look like they're doing so good. Karikaro, oh, are you busy? Maybe we can talk about something when you get the chance. Karikaro, I can't open the lid to this stupid candy jar. Can you open it for me? I think I have my work cut out for me today. Alright, I'm leaving the meat pie to you. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. I've never made a meat pie before. I wrote the recipe for my sisters. It's not hard. Just make sure it tastes good. Or are you that... Or are you that... Taste dumb that you don't know a good flavor? I don't even know how to respond to that. Whatever, it's your show now. Manessa, just pick some random vegetables from the informant. Oh, you might be missing some ingredients, but just figure it out. Okay, I'll check it out. Faria, give me the jar. <laughs> it's open. Thanks, Kari Karo, bye! Hold on a minute, where are your manners? I just helped you out, and I'd like you to return the favor. If you're free, you should help me fix the roof, and we can do it together. It'll be done quick. Okay. <sighs> Fine. Let's hurry up and go. I'll try my best. Kari Karo's amazing. She works quickly and has a muttery way about how she cares for the younger ones. Not that I'm saying she's old. I don't mean to... Wait, why am I making excuses to myself? Oh, right. The recipe book. Uh, okay, so... Wow, there are drawings, too. I'm sure I'll be able to make this if the Well Sisters could. It's really obvious how much Kaya Karo cares about everyone. This recipe was written with love and care for her sisters. I don't stress about it. The only thing I worry about is if the other witches are eating right. But... It's nice that such a dependable sister is always looking out for everyone, but... Who looks out for Kari Karo? Vanessa's very strong, but... I don't think Kari Karo relies on her for much. I guess I don't need to think about that right now. I'll just focus on the meat pie. More of the same. Oh, nice. Thanks. Yes, nice indeed. That's not a bad gift. So, as I've done like with other anime games, if there's affection for a character and there might be endings for characters, I'm going to make sure that Kari Karo has Max and the others will have just one less. Who is it? Zephy, wake up! Kari Karo is gone! K Kari Karo? Yes, she's nowhere in the house. Maybe she's out on a walk. She's been acting strange. The pot in the kitchen is overflowing. The knife was on the floor, too. Manessa, calm down. I'm sure she'll be fine. Let's work together. Okay. What happened to Kari Karo? 
Well, no, but when was the last time you had dragon meat, Cory Carl? Huh? Oh, hmm. What is it? You haven't been eating. No. I see. That's why Manessa is worried. Manessa, when was the last time Cory Carl ate dragon meat? I don't know. No. Is Cory Carl going to turn out like Ruda? Did you tell the little sisters? Not yet. Let's have Weaponette stay behind to watch them while we go look for her. Yeah, good idea. Someone! Manessa! Zephy! Weaponette? It's coming from the living room. Let's go. I'm so glad I found... I'm so glad. I found Karikaro. Where was she? She was unconscious near the well. Help me pick her up. Got it. Manessa, go to Karikaro's room and get her to bed. Okay. So to say, get her bed ready, but oh. oh, she doesn't look good. I don't think she'll wake up yet. What's wrong with Kari Karo? She seems like she's in pain. I feel sorry for her. Is there anything we can do? Should I bring more ice, Vanessa? Don't worry. It's just a common cold. Once we give her medicine, she'll be better in no time. I'm sure you're worried, but it won't be good having it spread. I'll read you guys a book. Let's go to my room. Okay. Lapo's right. Let's wait until Karikar is feeling better to see her. Manette is going to make a charm so she gets better soon. Karikaro, feel better soon. Take care of Karikaro for me. Okay, and you take care of the girls. Manessa, Karikaro is... She's fine. She really just has a cold, but she may be fatigued. Fatigued? You know how her cooking didn't have much taste lately? Come to think of it, yeah. Was that a sign? Despite being tired, she never said anything and kept cooking for us. <sighs> I wasn't even able to notice. It's not your fault, Sefi. I should have been watching her a little more carefully. No. I actually saw something was off. It's nice that such a dependable sister is always looking out for everyone, but who looks out for Kanikano? Vanessa's really strong, but I don't think Karikaro relies on her for much. I guess I don't need to think about that right now. I'll just focus on the on this meat pie. If only I looked out for Karikaro more, this wouldn't have happened. Vanessa, can I take care of her? Yeah, if you want. Okay, I'll leave you here with her. I'm going to go make something for her. Sure thing. Thanks. Her fever's so high. The towel's already warm. Hey, I'm gonna change your towel, okay? No need. Karikaro? Are you awake? Ugh. You can't get up yet. You fainted. Since when did you tell me what to do? Besides, I'm... Fine. I've been awake. What? I started to feel sick when I was cooking, so I tried to get some water to refresh myself. I went to the well. But I got dizzy, and Lapinette saw me, so... Well, I ran out of time. So you pretended to be asleep? Sorry for the trouble. I'm fine now, so you can just leave, or whatever. Why do you keep pushing yourself? You fainted from working too hard. I'm going to kill you. It's none of your business. Is it, though? Especially now that I'm living with you? It wouldn't hurt you to let me worry about you from time to time. <laughs> I never asked for that. You know... You're always pushing yourself because you're the older sister, right, Kari Karo? <laughs> the reason you didn't wake up earlier was because the little sisters were there, and you didn't want them to see you like that, right? Well... You don't need to put on a show for me. You're not my older sister. You're my friend. And you should depend on me as your friend. Another word out of you, and I'm really gonna kill you. How can I trust you so easily, if you're just gonna stab me in the back anyway? What the... <laughs> Is that how you really feel? <laughs> I must be the idiot you always say I am for thinking we were ever going to get close. It really was none of my business. 
I'll leave you alone now. Oh. <sighs> no. How was I even supposed to reply to that? Man. Carl didn't need to be so mean. Zephy? Hmm? Weren't you with Lapinette? It's none of your business on where I was or who I was with. I need to ask you a favor. You do? That's rare. Don't get me wrong, I usually ask Kari Kara, but she has a cold, so I have no choice but to depend on you. <sighs> what? I understand. When your little sister depends on you, how can you deny her? As someone who's new here, I feel that. For Kari Kara, it must be a consistent pressure. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, while well, Car Car was down, I'll do anything you want. What? Anything? I mean, after Kari Karo, I'm the next oldest, right? You can ask for anything you want. I get it now. I just wanted Kari Karo to accept me as one of them. She's so guarded because she's the oldest. That's all. <sighs> Maybe I was mean to her. I should apologize to her once she feels a bit better. I'm liking these events so far with Kari Karo. I mean, she is the most guarded, oh, nice. so... Thanks. That's not a bad gift. We're going to be giving her a lot of these Black Garter belts now. <laughs> oh, goodness. So Lapinet and Faria left. Where could they be hiding? Oh, there you are, Lapinet. My, my, you found me. So, all that's left is Faria. Is she here? Uh, no. <laughs> He's totally looking at a different place. Zephy is so useless. Aw, not that way. <laughs> Faria, she's hiding seriously. She's still such a child. It's here. I found you, Faria. Oh, I didn't think you'd find me here. Oh, you found everyone, huh? Cake's almost done, so let's have a snack time now. Yay, Kari Karo's cake! Faria, you have to wash your hands first. Wow, it smells so good. Alright, I'm going to eat your piece, Zephy. Lapinet, can you go get Manessa? Got it. Now, let's get the plate ready. She won't ask me to help, will she? I feel like she's being so distant with me. Oh, is Zephy? What is it? Nothing, just calling you for no reason. Okay, now that you're paying attention to me, can you set the table? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, forks too? Yeah, it's a cake, after all. Roger. Hmm. She's not avoiding me. But maybe that's why it's making things awkward. I hope I don't... A part of me also feels like maybe I over-add some things when I, when I do it my version. I don't know. That was so good. Today's cake was tasty. Also, the, pro the other thing of putting it to Japanese would be, like, they can talk, get as loud as they needed to be for the scene, while I kind of can because it's late and I live with people, so. Why'd you say it like that? It's always tasty. Well, that's a stretch. It's always good, but it's not good to be picky, girls. If it's your cake, Kari Karo, then Monette will always think it's tasty. <laughs> I guess you can't lie to your sister's taste buds. That's how often they eat Kari Karo's food. We must be thankful. Although it's hit or miss, everyone loves what Kari Karo makes. Alright, I'll get ready for dinner now. Today was the day for requests, huh? Oh, then I want some chicken teriyaki, and salad, and soup, and a dessert. Monette is craving some food with herbs. Meat! So long as it's meat, I'm fine with everything. I found a recipe for vegetable porridge and tried eating it, but... Hey, everyone, isn't that too much? Hmm? 
It's routine. Come on, Zeffy. What do you want to eat today? Huh? Oh, d I'm fine. I, I see. Hmm. Wait, was she just looking out for me? I, I guess I can make a request. Oh, that must be the informant. Come in. Hey, everyone. Did you bring the ingredients I asked for? Well, I don't have a death wish. Of course. Here, I'm gonna put them right here, alright? Who would ever kill someone useful? I've already told you you were cool. Alright, everything's here. Here's your payment. Thanks. <laughs> Kari Karo finally got used to the informant. It wasn't that long ago that she was insisting he was suspicious and that we should kill him. How recent was that? It's been a few years since I've been coming here, right? It's only recently that I've been able to talk to Kari Karo. You better shut up unless you want me to give you a ha half off on everything for the next five years. Ah, uh, you always used to threaten me like that. Okay, since you're regulars, I'll give you half off of everything today. What? <laughs> It's nice to remember the past, isn't it? Like how Manessa and Lapinette will both pretty much stop you from killing me because it'll be problematic to lose an errand boy. <laughs> right? Even after allowing the informant to come in and out of the den, you were always watching him because you didn't trust him. She would make the informant take a bite out of the vegetables just to prove they weren't poisoned. <laughs> it, oh, I can't help it. He was really suspicious. Well, I don't blame you. Being an informant can be a suspicious profession. You acted like any normal person would have. And besides, these are rough times. It's good that you have a sister like Kari Karo. Once she accepts you, it's easy doing business. Anyways, so for the next week's goods, should I get the usual? Oh, actually, I want you to bring what I wrote here. Hmm? It's rare for you to write it down. Let's see, hmm. Hmm, got it. I'll be sure to pick this up. Oh, and next time, I guess I'll buy it without any discounts, as long as you promise not to talk about my past. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, I'll be seeing you. It's so hard to get a read on that guy. Oh, so are you saying if Mr. Informer was easy to read that you would have bonded with him sooner? No, it doesn't change that he's still suspicious by now. But it'd be too late if something happened because of him. She has a point. For witches who are in hiding. You won't be able to survive unless you have a strong sense of being alert. Another word out of you, and I'm really gonna kill you. How can I trust you so easily if you're just gonna stab me in the back anyway? Manessa and Lapinette are kind hearts. The little sisters are still young, so it was easier for them to accept me. I think Karikara's reaction is the more neutral reaction out of them all. Natural. Hey, Karikara. What is it? I don't need any help with cooking right now. It's not that, um... <sighs> Look, I wanted to apologize about the other day. I just got emotional. What are you talking about? I don't remember. What? When you fainted from your cold. I told you I don't remember. My memory is a bit hazy from that day. No, she was pretty stable then. But did it just seem that way? Anyways, now that I have my ingredients, I'm going to start preparing. I forgot to mention that I heard about what you did while I was out. That was very helpful. Oh. Zephy, did something happen with Kari Karo? I was concerned too. You guys seem so weird around each other. It's not a big deal, but yeah. I guess I'll just have to work on it like Doran did in the order to gain her trust. Huh? I think she already trusts you though. I think so too. Rather, I feel like she likes you. Mmm, I don't know about all that. Sherwata? Have you been here this whole time? How rude. I've been around since the informant got here. Whether she trusts you or not is one thing, but I'm sure she likes you. No way. Are you making fun of me? Seriously, rude. I'm being honest. Well, you'll know soon enough. Huh? <laughs> You're so dense. Dense? Karakara said I was clumsy before. But, I wonder what Karakara's actions towards me convinced both Lapinette 
I'm sure Wanda that she likes me. Well, I mean, you keep giving me the black garter belt, so I mean, she might be kind of thinking you might want something. Whoa, for me? I really wish that they would talk more in the English dub, because I like, I really like hearing, like, Erica's voice, and I just, oh, nice. when you, when you have voice actors I recognize in here, I like to hear their voices. So... Alright, got him. That was amazing as usual. We got so much today. I can picture the little sister's excitement already. <gasps> That's a dragon. Perfect timing. Let's kill it and call it a day. There! We did it! What, over already? That was super easy. Ah, Karo Karo, it's not over yet! Huh? <laughs> Karo Karo! Ugh, I'll finish it off. I can do it myself. Is this really the end? Are you okay, Kari Karo? It caught me off guard. The wound's not too bad, though. I think that first blow hit a vital point, so it went unconscious for a little while. Let's be more careful next time. She was overdoing it with that attack. Why wouldn't she just trust me to help fight? Is she wary of me even during battles? <sighs> I guess I'm just getting in the way. Hey, Zephy. What happened earlier? I was rushing into it, and, well, I... <sighs> She's just trying to cover it up now. This isn't good. I don't want to get upset at her for the way she feels. I just need some space for this to cool down a bit. It's alright, Kari Karo. What do you mean? We're done for the day, right? Go home. Wait, where are you going? I'm not done talking to you yet. My equipment's a mess, so I'm gonna go wash it at the river before I go home. <sighs> Kari Karo, did something happen with Zephy? It's not safe to go out there alone. What if he encounters a dragon? Whatever, forget him. Stop. I shouldn't have acted like that. I remember what it felt like to be at the bottom of the food chain when I was a knight. But why do I feel even more useless here? I just wanted to help Kai Karo out so she wouldn't feel like the burden was hers to carry alone. I can't do anything right, can I? <sighs> Kai Karo! Uh, I'll finish it off. I can do it myself. <laughs> no, that's not it. She clearly needed help. And I could have lent it to her. But she didn't let me. It's frustrating not knowing how to get how to get through to her. I'm so ashamed of myself in the end. I'm just upset with myself for being so useless. I just wanted to help. I know you did. Who's there? Clumsy as usual. I'm surprised a dragon hasn't eaten you already. Kari Kara? Why are you... You thought I was gonna run off to the knights again, didn't you? Damn. I'm being so snappy. I was worried, so I followed you out here. What? Don't give me that. Don't you know? This isn't exactly a safe place to walk around. Why didn't you bring Manessa or Lapinette? 
You're out here by yourself, too. Forget about me. You think just because you're the oldest, you can be out here all alone? No, because I'm with you. What? Stop asking me if. Stop asking me that. If it's you and me, we'll be able to handle a dragon with our own hands behind our backs. Uh, but uh, how would I carry my sword? It's an expression, idiot. I'm trying to tell you that I trust you. I don't doubt you anymore. <laughs> so stop doing this. Stop avoiding me. You're like family to me. And family doesn't do that. Wait. I don't know how to process any of this. It's coming out of nowhere. I'm glad you feel this way, but... Why do you never let me help you out? You're always so cold every time I try to help. Well... Her expression is so serious. Maybe something happened in the past and she just doesn't want to depend on anyone. Did something happen to you in the past? No, nothing happened. Is she just trying to keep it inside again? Don't look at me like that. Nothing happened. This is just the way that I am. And what way is that? I've never had to rely on anyone before. Maybe I don't really know how to. Why do you look so confused? Damn it, I was trying to be serious and now you just make me feel stupid. I'm done talking to you. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, maybe you're thinking about it too hard. If you're worn out, vent about it. We can always talk when you can't sleep. Having someone to lean on like that always makes things feel a little better. <laughs>